Hey guys, welcome back to Portable Entrepreneur. Today I want to share some free stuff with you. So we're going to be looking at seven different free SEO tools that you can use. Now, of course, I love my paid SEO tools. I love them just because you can access so much more in-depth information. You can access things quickly. It really helps you improve your SEO. At the same time, I know that not everyone has a budget or it can seem really expensive to get one of these tools, especially if you only have one site that you are working on. But some of the tools that we're even going to be looking at, you're not going to find that kind of information inside of an SEO tool as well. So I bet you're going to find at least a couple of really cool tools here today that you'll definitely be bookmarking to save for later use. So of course, I'm going to share with you what these tools are, but I'm also going to give you a quick sneak peek, show you exactly what they look like and make sure you know exactly why you should be using them. So let's start with the very first tool, which is called GMB Spy. This is a Google My Business tool. Now what this is, is this allows you that if you see competitors who are ranking very well in the local pack and you want to figure out what categories are they using in their account, this will literally tell you exactly what categories your competitors are using with just the click of a button. Now this is a public information, but it can be difficult to find these categories if you don't know what you're looking for within the code. So all you need to do is install the GMB Spy browser extension. You're going to turn to Google and you're going to put in a local search, whether it's in Google search or Google maps, and then you're going to select a specific business to analyze. And once you select that business, you simply go up to your extensions. You're going to click on GMB spy tool to analyze. And there you go. You will see the categories right there. Now the second tool is also a browser extension, but this is a really cool one. This is actually for all of you who don't really like to get into analytics and just want to figure out exactly what you need to know. This one actually helps you by putting heat maps and color codes inside some of Google's popular tools like Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, the Ads and Data Studio, and some others. So what this looks like is if you go into any of your accounts, you're going to be able to click on these icons and this is going to show you what your data means by color. So for instance, here, when we are looking at where the traffic is coming from, it is showing us what our best channels look like, where our new users are coming from, and then it shows us more in red, which ones really need work. So when we have referral traffic, we really need to enhance that. And if we look at pages per session, when we receive the referral traffic, those visitors actually tend to stick around, where while we get a lot of organic search, they don't tend to stick around on the site and view as many pages. They also don't stick around on the website for as long, but when we get direct traffic, they do tend to know us and they stay around a little bit longer. So this is really just giving us a very quick visual of what's working and what's not, and you can apply this to a lot of different areas of some of these Google accounts. Now the third free tool is actually Bright Local's Local Search Results Checker. Now Bright Local does have a premium tool, but you may not realize that they actually have a handful of free tools. And one of those is the Local Search Results Checker. This is a really handy tool. If you want to be able to go check a business's search results from a specific location, but let's say you're not actually at that location. So let's say that the business is located in city A, but you are the searcher and you are located in city B, but you wanna know what do search results actually look like if you were a searcher in city A. So this allows you to go in, you can put in your search term, your keyword here, you can enter a specific location, whether it is a city or a zip code, for instance, and you can do a Google search or even look in Google Maps and then you'll be able to see what searchers in a specific location see when they perform a search in Google. Now schema is something that is very important for SEO. And at the same time, I know that a lot of businesses are very confused about how to actually add it to the website. And that's where this local business schema generator comes in. This allows you to simply input the business's details here. And after doing so, it is going to give you the code that you need to actually add it to your website. And if you wanna make sure the code actually looks correct, you're gonna be able to go to Google Structured Tool and actually test it to make sure it looks good. But here on this website, you're also going to be given a list of websites that have actually implemented this correctly. So if you wanna go in, you wanna look at their code and see how that compares to yours, that can be really helpful to see as well. Now, I'm sure you know that an SEO audit is important for SEO and for being able to see what is going on with a website. 
And this next free tool helps you actually do a really quick SEO audit and just get page level information and be able to view different elements of a specific web page. So that way, if you just want to gather quick information, you don't want to fire up your whole entire SEO tool. This is going to allow you to do that. And this tool is called SEO meta in one click. This is also a browser extension. And what this allows you to do is pull up any website that you want to look at. Simply click on the icon for SEO meta and it loads all of of this information that is really helpful. You're able to see all of the meta information, you're able to see the number of header tags, and more here on the summary. And if you want to get specific, you can go in here and look at the specific header tags, see which ones are H1, H2, and so forth. You'll be able to learn more about the images here, links, social data, and even be given some quick links to learn more. Now coming up in number six, this is actually another one of Bright Local's free tools. And this is their local listings health scanner. And this allows you to simply pop in any business here in this tool. And it goes out there and scans for all of the major directories that a business should be listed in in order to get these citations. It's also gonna let you know, are they missing any listings? Are any of these inaccurate or do they have any errors? And this really helps you pinpoint very quickly exactly what you need to work on in order to improve the health of your local listings. Now our seventh free SEO tool is going to help with reviews. Reviews are so, so incredibly important, not just for SEO purposes, but also for conversion. So we always wanna make sure businesses are getting more reviews. And so this is actually another one of Bright Local's free tools. And this is their Google review link generator. And this allows you to simply input the business's name and they're going to automatically populate the Google My Business Reviews link. If you wanna share that with any customers so that they can see what reviews you have. There is also a link that you can give to customers when you want them to actually leave you a review to help you increase the number of reviews a business has. And if you also want to copy the final link, you're gonna be able to see what your business actually looks like in the SERP. So that's gonna give you exactly what Google sees right there. So those are the seven free SEO tools. I am going to leave a link to all of those down in the description below. That way you can access them all really quickly. Let me know down in the comments below, have you used any of these tools? Are there any other free SEO tools that you're using that I didn't mention here that we should all check out? Definitely let me know down there as well. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.